There's a couple of things I'm trying to find out in this short video. The first is the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 camera, which you can see here. According to DJI, the maximum card size it would take is 512 gigabytes. And I have here a brand new SanDisk Extreme uh, micro SD card, which is one terabyte. And I'm interested to see if this will work in the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. Now, the reason for my purchase of this card is it should work according to Insta360 in their new X4 camera, which is what I'm recording with at the moment. And I haven't discovered whether it's got a sort of zoom ability or not. Um, so the picture might have all sorts of oddball artifacts and distortions and all sorts of things in it, but it certainly will. But I was interested in trying out this camera uh, in a way of product recording as well to see what it uh, what it was good at and what it wasn't good as. I'm already conscious the exposure seems to be flickering about a bit so uh, I should have maybe locked off that exposure a bit but I haven't. So let's just carry on and take it as it is. This is my favourite Leatherman. I bought this when I finished uh, a contract some years ago when I get to the end of a contract I tend to like to buy myself a little something by memory, way of memory of it. This was terribly expensive I thought at the time and I did wonder why I was spending so much money on it. But it's a gadget which I've used pretty much every single day since then, and that's years ago, at least once a day and sometimes many times a day because it's got so many useful things in it. And one of the things is a little pair of very sharp scissors. So first things first, I'm going to open this package. It is never particularly easy, I don't know why they've made them so difficult. Perhaps just to sp stop or reduce casual theft maybe uh, when they're in a retail shop. I was looking at a YouTube video uh, earlier today and they were showing a Walmart which is where they've put nearly everything in sight behind locked cabinets. Well. Yeah, that's going to reduce the theft, I have absolutely no doubt. But it's also going to reduce sales. And to the point where they're not going to make any sales because there won't be enough assistance to open the cabinets, etc, etc. So, there we have the a brand new SanDisk card. I hope it's still recording because the screen switched off. And I'm just going to attempt to open this now. Attempt to be operative because it looks like it's got a corner that will open. It's just not opening. Might have to revert to the wonderful Leatherman again to open this because it's having none of this. Has that worked? No, because I should have done it from the other side. They don't like making it easy for you, do they? It's just absurd. Right. Nearly there. There's the card. So what I'm now going to do is to Take the card out of this, if I can remember where it is, it's there. And that's a Lexar 512 gig. Same specification as this in that uh, it's a, um, a V30 card, so it's pretty fast. And of course I'm going to get this the wrong way around, because it looks like this. So this is obviously unformatted straight out of the camera. Now, let's open this up. There's me. It's not complaining it's got anything wrong. It's showing me 24 hours and 45 minutes of recording. How cool is this? And let's try and hit the record.
seems to be doing its stuff just putting myself on active track so as I move around the gimbal and the camera will move it's a wonderful camera I have two of these um, haven't yet used them both at once but the intention is to use them both at once so I'm just going to leave this going for about a minute and you'll note uh, this is recording at 4k 25 and over here you can see that's where the Insta360 X4 is that's recording this just want to make sure it doesn't conk out too early as it were but this is looking pretty promising Now I have got on the front of this, this is, I'm going to muck this up possibly, but circular polarizer. Let's see if I can change any of the reflections in my glasses. It's really dependent on where how the light's hitting it. Mm, dubious. Sometimes it has seemingly no effect and often it has a fantastic effect. And again it's still following me, which is grand. Well, that's done more than a minute now, so I'm going to stop the recording. I'm going to slide in from the right, which basically gives me playback. Seems to be doing its stuff. Just putting myself on active track, so as I move around, the gimbal and the camera will move. It's a wonderful camera. I have two of these. Um, haven't yet used them both at once, but the intention is to use them both at once. So I'm just going to leave this going for about a minute. Note, uh, this is recording at 4K 25. So there you go, looks like it works a treat. So the maximum file size correction, the maximum micro SD size given out by DJI for the Osmo Pocket 3 is incorrect. They state it's 512 gig. I've just tried it with a one terabyte card and it's uh, certainly from the uh, amount of hours up there it says it's recorded it would it's got space for then it's got loads left so um, if I just switch this off for a moment isn't that wonderful I'm going to pop this card back out and I'm going to pop back in the Lexar 512 gig which actually wasn't that much less money than the card I've just bought um, and start this up again now there's quite a lot of stuff I've got on this card I've done quite a lot of recordings on it but it's showing half the size 10 hours 59 so um, yeah there we go I think that's about it for now so uh, what I'll do is I'll leave this recording, I'll put tracking on and uh, there we go, the SanDisk 1 terabyte SSD how good is that? didn't want to do that it's got this cancelling mode which I know also the Insta360 does stop recording